Today, Minister, I want to talk to you about the impl implementation of the report of the Working Group on the Development and Sustainable Plan for the Mayo Campus of Galway Mayo Institute of Technology. And I won't beat about the Bush Minister. There are three questions uh, I would like answered in relation to its implementation. And the number one is that the report recommended that the permanent head of centre be appointed. Now, I know that this post was advertised in September, so it, I would ask the question, why then was it re-advertised in February? And why during the recruitment process after the shortlisting was the process stopped and why was it referred to the governing body? Uh, why was a decision made to postpone the interview process? Uh, and then I understand that it was re referred to the risk unit where the review took place. And I want to know today, was this review completed? And what were the results uh, of that review? And can you assure me and others that the correct procedures were followed? And secondly, Minister, the governing body uh, substitute uh, subcommittee uh, had its first meeting in March. Yet, I believe that there was no consultation with staff and members uh, or, the, or the staff members or the program boards around that, and that would certainly um, uh, concern me. Now, I know that €40,000 was allocated for the promotion, but again, I'm concerned there around the lack of consultation and who decided on how that should be spent. Um, Thirdly, Minister, I'm very concerned that none of the structural repairs have been carried out. They haven't been taken place and there's repairs that need to be done uh, urgently on the building there. And the independent external facilitator has not yet been appointed. So I suppose that's the reason for me asking you in here today, Minister, is I was really glad and many others who support the Mayo campus of the GMI were very happy when uh, you agreed and when the government agreed to do this report, the report of the working group. And I think it undermines the work of the, the working group for the, for the recommendations not to be implemented at this stage. And it really just concerns me around the recruitment process as well. So maybe you could speak to some of those. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Senator. No, Thank you very much, Senator Rose Conway Walsh, and I know that um, Minister Michael Ring has also been in touch with me um, in the last day or two. I have a comprehensive answer. If there are parts that I haven't answered at the end, I'm very willing to take those questions. I made a note of them, and I will come back to you if that's all right, Senator. And just to say that I did visit myself with Castlebar and I did see the, um, the um, work that needs to be done and I certainly, you know, I agree that, that it needs to be done as quickly as possible. I would like to reiterate at the outside of the government's commitment to the future sustainability of the Castlebar campus of GMIT. This is the reason why Minister Bruton established the working group in March 2017 to develop a plan that would safeguard the future of the Castlebar campus. I'd also like to confirm that the department and the HEA are focused on ensuring that the recommendations of the working group are implemented as soon as possible and with appropriate consultation with relevant stakeholders. The GMIT working group was chaired by the HEA and comprised of representatives of the GMIT, Department, Mayo County Council and other local stakeholders. It also, it also comprised of representation uh, from the staff and the students of the Castlebar campus. The report of the working group was published in December 2017 and it provides a wide-ranging assessment of the context within which the campus is currently operating and outlines a proposed vision for the future of Mayo Campus. It also provides a strategic and a comprehensive plan to address the financial and sustainable issues which have been experienced by GMIT Mayo Campus in recent years. The working group recommendations are primarily for GMIT to implement. However, there are recommendations that relate to the department. 
the Department has responded to these recommendations as a matter of priority. To this end, the Department has provided ring fence funding of 750,000 for the Castlebar campus for each of the next five years while the plan is being implemented. Capital funding is also being provided for the replacement of the roof of GMIT campus, which is currently in need of repair. The Department and the HEA are working with GMIT to ensure that the other recommendations are being progressed. One of the significant recommendations was the re-establishment of a subcommittee of the governing body of GMIT to oversee the management and development of the Mayo campus. This will give campus issues more focus from a governance perspective, but will also facilitate the involvement of regional stakeholders within this structure. This committee was established in early 2018 and they have met to commence the implementation of the recommendations. The group are scheduled to meet again this month, that's May. Another key recommendation is the appointment of a dedicated permanent head of campus of vice president level. And I understand that that process for this appointment is underway. The appointment of an external independent external facilitator to oversee the transition of a new structural and operational arrangements is another significant recommendation. The facilitator will play an important role in supporting the implementation of a number of the other working group recommendations. The facilitator will also contribute to rebuilding relationships where this is necessary. In that regard, the HEA wrote to GMIT in March requesting that progress be made on the appointment. A terms of reference for this position is being developed by GMIT in consultation with the HEA. The HEA will continue to monitor progress made by GMIT in implementing all of the working group recommendations. The HEA will report to the department in the event that progress is not being made in particular areas. There has been a significant investment in this process by all relevant stakeholders. It is in everyone's interest that the recommendations in the review are implemented as soon as possible and in consultation with those stakeholders. I would like to thank Senator Conway uh, for affording me the appropriate and uh, the opportunity to respond to the House on this matter. Thank you, Supplementary. Uh, uh, um, the Head of Centre is absolutely inter integral. Something has happened here, something wrong. I would ask you to investigate, to look at it, to, to not go on what's been presented to you, maybe to look behind some of the detail in it. The Mayo campus is absolutely integral to the education system in Mayo, particularly because of the cost of accommodation in many of the other towns. It is hugely important, both for adult education and for those trying to access courses. There is a wonderful staff in there. There are wonderful education opportunities, but we need to implement this report, and it needs to be done immediately, not, um, you know, not words coming out. We need to see action, and we need to see that money being spent on the roof and the structure should repairs immediately. Thank you, Minister. Yeah, Senator, Minister, yeah, no, I hear you, and I just want to re-echo what you've just said, or to echo what you've just said, Senator Conway Walsh. Um, yes, it is a wonderful facility, and as I said, I've visited there, and I know exactly how important it is to Mayo, to the region, to the west of Ireland. The roof, certainly, and again, I saw that roof myself. It's certain. I thought the work would have started but um, it certainly needs to be referred and up, up, updated. Thank you.